Hi everybody, this is Cindy McVeigh from Crazy for Crafting and I'm here today with a quick little tutorial for you on how to retouch photos in order to remove dark under eye circles and a couple of blemishes. Now you can see on this young lady um, there's not a whole lot wrong with her but she still has a few little dark areas as well as a few little skin imperfections that we can touch up and fix. Um, now the first thing you always want to do before you do any work onto a, on a photo is make a copy of it and then import your copy into Photoshop and do all your work on that. Even after you've done that, we want to do all of our work on a separate layer. So let's click this icon to create a new layer and that's where we're actually going to be working. Now I want to mention that this technique, I understand, will work all the way back to Photoshop Elements 3 so everything I'm doing should work for you but your icons may look a little different be in different places so you might have to look for them um, now that we've created our layer we want to go over and select the clone stamp tool and if I right click on it you'll see that there are actually two tools in one here you have your pattern stamp but we want the clone stamp tool so click on that and then you need to go up to the top and you want to um, create an opacity of 50% and you can do that by either typing it in or you can do your slider so let's just leave that at about 50% um, it doesn't have to be precise because we can go back and change that later and then you want to make sure that your mode is on lighten because we that's what we want to do is actually lighten these circles we don't want to completely remove them we want it to look natural then in your brush palette, select one of these. We don't want a hard brush like that. We want something with softer edges. So let's select that one. And then let's zoom in on our photograph to the eye area that we're going to be working on. Stretch this out just a little bit. And now I can use the scroll on my mouse to zoom in even more. Now go back and reselect your clone stamp tool. Now the size of the brush is important. We want it to be approximately the size of the area that we're trying to correct because we only want to do one sweep of the brush to correct this. So to resize your brush the quickest way is on your keyboard. If you look on your keypad right next to the letter P you have your two brackets. The right bracket will make your brush larger the left bracket will make it smaller. So that looks like about a good size right there. I can sweep across that, um, that under eye dark area. Now we want to sample a section of her face that is a good color, the color that we'd like to replace this area with. So we don't want to pick something right here because then we get that funny little dark spot right there at the contour of her nose. We want to choose something that's about right there. That looks pretty good. But remember we're working on this blank layer. So if we just were to sample that, we would get nothing. We want to make sure that this sample all layers box is checked so that when we sample from here we're getting actually um, the images from the uh, photograph itself and by choosing sa sample all layers we're going to sample everything that we can see on our screen so let's place the cursor right here I like that selection right there and we're going to hold down the alt key and then click with our mouse and we've now sampled that section now we can go up to the under eye area and with one sweep of the mouse we can uh, create or eliminate that dark under eye area. Now notice when I did that I got this funny little place right here. That's because I hesitated right there. Let's undo that. Let's resample. And let me do that again and that looks a little better. If you still don't like that you can sample again and you see what happens. You get it, you get it lighter. Okay? Now, if you want to see the difference and see how much of a change we've made, go over here to the layer we just worked on, click on the eye, and it hides that layer, and you can see what it did look like. So that's before, and that's after, and that does look a lot better. Now let's go over to do the other eye, and let's select from right here. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to sample it, and then I'm going to brush, and again, click on the eye and you can see the before and the after and that looks a lot better now let's fix this tiny little blemish here it's not something big but it's something that we could take away and make her look better so let's put our brush down 
smaller and that's about the size of the area we want to fix and let's go up here to this lighter area sample it and just one click and it removes that little blemish and if we scroll down here this is not really a blemish it's a mole but I'm gonna use it to show you um, how we can fix that if somebody had a mole that they don't like you can remove that too so I made the brush about the size of the area I want to fix sample and one click and you can see it lightened it. It did not remove it, but it made it much less noticeable. Let's go back up here and let's do the same thing with this little one. Let's make the brush a little smaller. Go right next to it, sample, and click. And then we can just keep doing that. We've got an area here. Let's sample and click. All right, now let's view the whole thing. Let's fit it on the screen. And let's hide our alteration layer. There's the before and there's the after and I think you can see it's a subtle change but it makes her look so much more polished and finished now I do want to mention really quickly if you have a photograph and you are altering two people in a photograph make go down here and click on this one and make a second layer so that you're altering the individual people on individual layers that way if one person needs more fixing then another you can go up to the layer like for instance I could go to this layer which I know is her is the girl let's rename that girl well it'd be helpful if I could spell girl and then let's name this one um, let's pretend there's a boy in there let's name her boy name it boy um, if I decided that the boy needed a whole lot more alteration I could go up here to the opacity and let me show you on the girl let's click on her and we can change the opacity here so that it changes the amount of um, fixing that we've done. And you can see as I dial it all the way down it goes back to the original look. If I dial it halfway up it's just a, a subtle change and if I dial it all the way up it's the entire change that we just made on that layer. So you can use your opacity button here to make changes and like I said one person might need more more alteration than the other. So since we don't have a boy, let's get rid of that. But there's our finished photograph. I can now save it. And I have a beautiful retouched photo of the young lady, but I haven't changed the original photograph, which would look like that. So take a um, stab at doing this. It's really pretty easy and quick. I think you'll really enjoy it. The teenagers in your life will thank you. And I'm going to make this photograph available. It is a photograph from iPhoto that um, was provided by the Photoshop Elements users website and I will make it available for you on my blog so you can download it to practice with. Thanks, give it a try and have a great day.